guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Now today is a tutorial in Photoshop which is how to create this kind of a text effect. Now it simply is just some layer styles but the kind of thing that we're going to be going for is kind of this backdrop black kind of Spider-Man themed kind of backdrop here. It's kind of like a stroke but not. And it's going to be showing you how to kind of create this. And so the kind of normal way that you might typically create this is just say you create some text and I type Chrome exactly the same. I even make it the same colors just to kind of enhance your understanding. Okay, it's going to drag it over to the middle. To do this would just be cut it. It doesn't give the same effect, you know. You can't really do so much to it as opposed to like this. This um, as you know, the edges are more defined. When you add the stroke, they're more rounded. And um, yeah, uh, without further ado, we'll get started on actually how you do create this. So I'm just gonna make it 12, 8 by 7, 20. Obviously, you're just gonna type the text in Chrome. It goes off the page. And uh, simple as that. I'm just gonna go to the Quick One tool. Uh, by holding Shift, you just wanna click on every letter. And make just make sure the text is covered. And then simply go to uh, Select, Modify, and Expand. And you want to expand by any number, of course more than one, because, uh, well, two will kind of, basically 15 pixels further out, these little dotted lines will go. So if I go, go by 15, that's how kind of big the backdrop will be. Obviously, the as you increase the number, the bigger it will be. So, yeah. And then I just want to make a new layer, with that still selected, drag it underneath the text layer, so it shows behind it. And just go to the paint bucket tool and just fill it with black for now like so. So now you can kind of see already that it's kind of given a better effect than just the stroke, you know. As, as I said, repeating myself, they are more defined. You have a look at the bottom of the M here. You see they're all sharp and crisp. They're just like kind of merging and it's round and it doesn't look as good. And to be honest, that's about it. I mean, the rest of the layer styles on here, if I just close this one now. No. Uh, what are we going to be doing? Just going to add basically a gradient overlay to here. Uh, you don't want hey the way it goes black to white, you never know, never looks good. You wanna have two colours the same. Just to kind of keep it within the professional realms. Like so maybe a bit lighter. There we go. And the same for the backdrop, you know, you don't want it pure black. You want a bit of a bit of contrast in there, maybe a bit of a kind of like a dark charcoal colour. Dark grey with dark grey. Like so. Now I'm just going to bevel and emboss. We're going to change the black down. And I'm going to change the angle somewhere close to the center. Something like here. That's looking good and that's looking okay. And the same for the chrome text. We've just got to bevel and emboss because the same thing applies. Drag down the black. Now that's about it. You can maybe add a stroke. Change the stroke color to a dark gray maybe. And you know the rest is, is is really just layer styles. Um, oh, what is it we're gonna? You know, he's had an inner shadow. You know, just mess about with them really. Ah, uh, the background. What you can maybe do is gonna go to pattern overlay, and just drag down opacity just so you kind of. Oh, wait, actually, maybe that would be best black. Maybe I was right in the original instance. Ah, uh, drag down the opacity on the black. Pattern overlay. Choose this one here. Maybe just drag down the scale, like so, and there you have it. Uh, that is how to kind of create this kind of background text. It is quite basic, but it does give a lot better effect than just adding a stroke. But no, that's about it for me, guys. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.